CataractCoach.com. Cataract Quiz. What is different in these cases? Look carefully at these pictures. Both involve cortex removal, right? Let me show you. Here comes the case. I was going in the capsule bag. Looks pretty reasonable. Looks like a good orexis. There was no zonulopathy. Nothing noted. Do you see anything? Look carefully. What do you see? What do you see? I see some cortex. Look at that. Did you miss it? Did you get it? So I want to get that out. Look, it's a quite a bit of cortex. So using a 27-gauge cannula through the, through the side port, just a little manual aspiration to be able to reach over and get that. Now, if you had a bimanual setup, maybe that'd be easier to use, but this works very well. And look at that, removing all that cortex or loosening it up. Now I can go in with the IA probe, and it's very easily removed. So there was hidden subincisional cortex that if you didn't look carefully, you may not have noticed. But on post-op day one, you'll notice it, right? Because it swells up and hydrates overnight and becomes this big, blurry thing in the patient's vision the very next morning. Now, you're just rotating up that toric eye well. Again, totally routine case. The trick on this one was, yeah, there was hidden cortex in the subincisional space. Now going behind the optic, remove viscoelastic. Oh, it looks still a little bit more lens cortex back there. Really want to clean all that up. Don't want to leave it around. And now get this torque lens set, and you can see we can rotate it, even backwards rotate it, whatever it takes. Now, remember, Happy New Year. That's number one. Number two, please check out the Counter Coach Podcast. It really is amazing. It'll teach you how to be a more successful surgeon. I promise you'll love it. Now, case two, watch this one very carefully. Look carefully, removing cortex, routine case, normal rexus. Okay, get out some of the cortex there. Watch carefully. Here comes the quiz time. And all looks pretty reasonable. Yep, taking out the cortex. Again, nice looking rexus, normal case, no noted zonulopathy. And let's clean up maybe over there a little bit more. And so let's take out a little bit more of the cortex. There we go. It's looking pretty clean. And I pretty much like it. Did you notice what happened? Watch carefully. Ready? Let's get some of that over there. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's that? That was the capsule bag equator. Let me show you in slow motion. Now, trying to clean up the bag, you grab here. See how that real clear red reflex is back there? That's the, you're seeing through all the way to the vitreous cavity. That was the lens capsule bag equator. So some focal zonulopathy in that little quadrant there. Yeah. So what do you want to do now? Let's finish up the case and maybe speed it up in a little bit. Let's first uh, get some viscoelastic. And probably could have put viscoelastic before coming out of the eye, but still it'll be fine. So we know we have perhaps a small quadrant of iatrogenic zonular loss, and that's okay. It's a very small quadrant. should be fine. should be no consequence. Polishing up the capsular bag here. Again, this is an optional procedure here, but I like to do it and make sure everything's nice and clean. Let's get the lens in the capsular bag. We're still going to put our single piece acrylic lens in the bag. Now, should you put a CTR in? I don't think it's necessary. It's a very small area, probably less than one clock hour of zonular uh, loss or weakness. I'll get this lens in the bag. It's a non-torque lens, so it's rotated to push the haptic towards that section. So again, I'll have the haptic acting as a bolster to push outwards toward that, towards that section where we had the little bit of zonulopathy. And again, is there a little bit of cortex remaining? I think there was a, there you go. There's a little bit left. So again, this is a nice outcome for the patient. It's of no consequence. Again, the haptic there is providing some bolstering or some support. At the end here, you can put some triamcillin if you want. Make sure there is no vitreous prolapse, which I'm positive there is not, but we'll prove it to you also at the end of the case. And there's a nice overlap. Look how the rexus is still nice and round. Remember, if the rexus turns to an oval or a D shape, the straight part of the letter D, that's where you'd have um, lots of zonular loss. So here, triamcillin, nothing stains. Everything looks fantastic. We'll put a little small aliquot of uh, antibiotic in the eye as well. At the end here, let's just check everything. That's a Wexel sponge with some tetracaine on it. And look, a little bit of a limbo relaxed incision. Clean up about a half diopter of astigmatism there. Don't need to leave that untreated. Let's give the patients the best possible vision. So I hope you got the quiz correct. It's always fun to do a cataract quiz. Remember, check out the Cataract Coach Podcast everywhere where you find podcast services. I promise it'll make you a better surgeon. You will love it. Listen to one episode, you'll be addicted.